we want to give that chance. to those that are present. You don't have to come down here if you don't want it right now. If you don't want it right now, it would be dangerous in an environment like this move if you don't want it right now. The Spirit of God is pleading, but don't give in because you can feel it's pleading. Give in because you want to be delivered now. Immediately. I don't want to scare anybody, but I'm going to say this because it's pressed upon my mind. And I don't want you to move if you don't mean it. I received a phone call some years ago. Early Monday morning, and I've been in service like this. We are in now all day. And somebody called me from my friend. And this is, you can keep on playing the song, and that's nice. And somebody had told this mother that had a counselor. I was Ella Wilde at that time, and said, Ella Wilde can pray for you, and I believe. They were believing for her. I believe you were here. And they told me, they asked her if she wanted them to call me at 9 o'clock in the morning. And she said yes. She wanted to be delivered. And they called me and asked me if they could bring her to my apartment. Nine o'clock in the morning. I'm saying this because I don't want you to move because you don't mean it. I said, yes, bring her. About three sisters. And fortunately, they was connected up with you all. That's been over 35 years ago. <coughs> Severely come up. Wasn't easy to bring her up there because she couldn't walk. I'm taking the time to say. And when they got up there, I asked her, I said, I know you want to be healed because that's what they brought you for. But let's go a step further. Will you go down in the name of the Lord Jesus? If the Lord do a miracle for you, will you accept him for doing a miracle for you? She said, yes. They're the same things that we want from God on the natural side. But when we get ready to go further, we don't really want to go further. She should have said, I don't want to go further. But she said, yes. That's all right. We're going to take you at your word. I'm going to anoint you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, and I'm going to believe God for you. And now I'm knowing in her, and I believe God. I didn't pray no long prayer when you believe God. You don't have to pray no long prayer. Amen. Amen. 
I told the saints this morning, the original church that received the gift of the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost, it took 10 days. Amen. God wasn't going to send the Holy Ghost until 10 days was up. Because that made 50. Amen. And now it just take believing God and right now. Yes, sir, Bishop. Amen. And God healed that woman. Yes. I said to prove to you heal. Go out my door there. The steps is there that they had to drag you up. You run down. She ran down them steps and got down in the bottom and looked up. I said, run back up. Over see a young jump down over this rail there. She's like in his message. He just climbed over that rail with his heavy self. <laughs> and jumped over there and kept on preaching but when he got finished he was tired he said I can't jump back up <laughs> <laughs> I got to go around here and come back up when I told that woman I said run back up she ran back up but the serious part I'm getting to I said now you ready to be baptized she said I'm sorry you don't want to believe she said that. She said, I think I'll wait. Mother, my spirit dropped. And I don't want my spirit to drop today. I know somebody in here that need to come back to God. That's why I'm talking about this. I'm looking at them and they're looking at me. Last yeah. Sunday they said, Oh, I'm coming back. Yes, 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 yes. Must have been Sunday before last. Yeah. Because when I got down to the temple last Sunday, I didn't see him. Yes. When I'm looking at him here today, yes. and in my checks right now, I'm trembling. Hallelujah. Because I do believe when Mother Allison was talking. Yeah, oh, here you come. In here, no way dead to this. That's right. And this woman said, I think I'll wait. And I'm telling you about it. Yeah. This was Monday morning, 9 o'clock, I told you. Yes. When she walked out of them steps, Tuesday morning, she was dead. Jesus. And I got scared again. Because the people that brought her, some of them wasn't saved. And some of them was in her family. Yes. And the reason why I got scared is because I wanted her. Yes. Yes. And I'm saying people will jump on you when they people That's die. Right, Bishop. That's right, right, Bishop. That's right, Bishop. That's right, Bishop. I said, Lord, cover me. Yes, sir. 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 When you speak out like this for God, the devil will rise up. And we need the covering of God. Yes, sir, we need the blood of Jesus to cover us. 
And right now we believe that God gonna do something already doing it for this daughter right now. But I'm just hoping that she won't go back anymore. Yes, sir. I don't want to scare. I ain't talking to scare, but I'm hoping that she don't want to go back where God is bringing her from. Because God, ain't many of us in here that know that they didn't know that God is real.
one issue that was um, that I didn't have. Yeah. 